Nostradamus' prophecies may be cryptic, but some of them have also proven to be eerily correct. From war and destruction to the future of the Catholic Church, here are four of the poet's most devastating predictions for 2024. Nostradamus' visions of the future are biblical in their imagery, particularly when it comes to images of the end of the world. I think Nostradamus in his prophecies often shows a fascination and a horror. And such images, fantastical as they often are, have grown more believable in recent years with the advent of climate change. As noted by several analysts, Nostradamus' earlier quatrains certainly lay the groundwork for a world facing the catastrophic effects of global warming, and 2024 seems to be no different. Several interpreters of Nostradamus' quatrains point to one describing boiling seas, rivers, and lakes, alongside the prediction of a great drought. They suggest this is evidence that the oracle predicted that climate change would lead to a greater portion of the Earth becoming unlivable for humans and animals. Indeed, scientific consensus claims that rising sea temperatures are harming marine life, meaning that Nostradamus' prediction isn't as off the wall as it might first appear. Since the COVID-19 pandemic, global news cycles have been dominated by the outbreak of war. In February 2022, Russia invaded Ukraine, pushing tensions between the superpower and the West to their highest point since the Cuban Missile Crisis. Though Russia seemingly expected their neighbor to fold in a matter of days, the conflict looks unlikely to be resolved anytime soon. In the fall of 2023, Israel declared war on Hamas following a brutal attack on Israeli civilians, leading to intense bombing of the Gaza Strip and thousands of further deaths. Analysts of Nostradamus claim that his quatrains predict further conflict for 2024, with the poet specifically predicting that a huge naval battle will take place. For instance, in Nostradamus' The Complete Prophecies for the Future, Mario Redding highlights a quatrain describing a calamitous war that he believes is brought about by two great allied powers. The British monarchy lost its long-reigning matriarch, Queen Elizabeth II, in 2022 at the age of 96. While Charles III became the new king at the moment of her death, royal watchers had to wait until May 2023 for his coronation. It was an opulent affair full of pomp and ceremony as the UK celebrated its new monarch and wished him a long reign. However, despite going through one of the most turbulent periods in living memory, the British royals should expect even more upheaval in 2024, at least according to Nostradamus. For Mario Redding's Nostradamus, after the lines predicting a calamitous war, the quatrain envisions, Soon afterwards a new king shall be anointed, who for a long time will appease the earth. Some have interpreted this as meaning that King Charles will choose to abdicate and make way for a monarch who might enjoy greater longevity. However, another quatrain foresees a king being forced from the throne. Though his son Prince William is next in line, the Irish examiner has pointed to the claim that one with no mark of a king shall take the throne and suggested it means Prince Harry will assume power. It's not just the British royal family that is believed to see a momentous change of guard in 2024. According to some sources, the Catholic Church is also going to see a new figurehead emerge. Pope Francis will turn 88 in December 2024, which makes the prediction appear especially prescient. Arguably, the Pope has served his time, and it would certainly make sense for him to retire while still able to fulfill his duties as pontiff. The lines highlighted by the Irish examiner, however, foretell the Pope's death and his replacement by a young Roman. Though arguably, Roman in this case refers to the church itself, with the youthful replacement predicted to unleash acute damage on the pontificate. But Catholics don't need to panic. The fact is that though Nostradamus is famous for hundreds of uncanny predictions, they aren't all interpreted the same way, nor assigned to the same time period by analysts. It is well known that Nostradamus concealed the nature of his prophecies. The quatrain highlighted by the Irish Examiner, for example, turns up in Mario Redding's Nostradamus too. only this time it's said to relate to 2056. Even in prophecy, it appears nothing is set in stone. With that said, make sure to subscribe, make sure to like the video, make sure to click uh, the bell notification, make sure to share the video with anybody that uh, you think could use the video, and make sure to comment the video. We really look at these comments a lot. We're always responding to them, and it tells us what you want more of, if you like this, that type of stuff. That's one of the best ways to get your questions answered.